temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Desmond Wong, Yong Fa Chong, Xiao Guan Sang, Zhong Wong, Wang Ying Sing, Wang Bei Lun, Chen Wing Hang, Zheng Sai Hua, Mo Ji Kiang, De Bing Man. Chen Zi Hua, Liu Kai Cheng, Xiu Zi Kiang, and we also sadly lost Lin Bun Tok this week. Now may I call upon Gabriel to come up and uh, recite his poem. Please, please sit down, please. Thank you. Um, professors and their spouses. Poetry is a medium which expresses one's feelings and emotions for a particular occasion. This piece is sentiment straight from my heart at the funeral of Mok Chi Kao. Sad your friends to see you go, yet relieved to know the end of your woe. Pain and suffering for years endured, agony share till tears stop to roll. Forty years did you strive, cure of disease and suffering to your pride. At Grantham you toiled for years. For doctors and students, you are their guide. Day after day at operating room, never a complaint did you groan. Thousands of grateful clients mourn your loss. Their heartfelt appreciation laden your tone. Our Heavenly Father do you embrace. Your mission completed at the end of the day. With tear and pride bid you adieu. We thank God for such grace. Um, I have a rather unscheduled insertion uh, regarding our beloved Professor McFadden. Since uh, Professor Todd you know, mentioned about uh, Professor Mac. Nothing in presumptuous of me to entitle this poem McFadden's Lament. Woe to the old time doctor who has never bothered to learn. High tech is now the anchor. Computer should never be spurned. Away with history and questions. Why bother symptoms and signs? When we have the computer, death replaced by ultrasound. Wasted time, inspection and palpation. Differential diagnosis tossed around. One look at the monitor, 
There, the diagnosis found. Expectantly, the patient waits. The doctor to check pulses and face. Swish spews the printer. Give your medicine, the patient waved away. Thank you, Michael. Now I call upon the Wei to say a few words. Now this is a picture we, we, we took in uh, 1970 where we started as a very small group at the Grantham Hospital doing open heart surgery. So I hope uh, you may have recognized some of them. Uh, the, uh, the one on the far left is Kong Kok Hei, and then John Leung, myself, and Nancy Butt, and Zai Cheung, and Dr. Mo, and also uh, um, the other one who tragically died in, uh, in an accident in, in the um, uh, a collapse of the whole building in 1972. Yeah. Okay. Next one. So I just want to show you a little bit of uh, our classmate, uh, Professor Mock's uh, biography. Uh, he was once our classmate, everybody, and also he was for myself, my colleague, and also a mentor because he taught me a lot of cardiac surgery during the period of. Uh, 77, 79 to 92, and also uh, he lastly became my boss when he was professor uh, in the cardiothoracic surgery. Next one. And then I, one thing I want to mention is that uh, in 1992, he led the cardiothoracic team at Grantham Hospital to perform the first heart transplant in Hong Kong. And the patient, surprisingly, is still surviving after 20 odd years now. Uh, and uh, Professor Mo retired and do private practice. And then, unfortunately, uh, between 2003 to uh, 2014, he had some very funny illness that caused him a lot of suffering and pain. And then he finally left us uh, in February this year. So uh, for the so around 20 odd years that I was I working I was working with him, I want to say that he is despite his great achievement, he is a very low key person. He was amiable to everybody he worked with, be they doctors, nurses, clerical staff, or ward uh, attendants, or even janitor. And he, I never saw him losing his temper. And as for the patients, he was really kind to them. According to his wife, uh, Chan Bing, uh, she said that he charged very low fees for the patients. For example, he charged only $3,000 for a thoracotomy. <laughs> and sometimes he even weighed the fees. This contrasted greatly with some of the renowned cardiothoracic surgeons in town. They really charge exorbitant prices. And yet, all these surgeons had been trained under him uh, during his time at Grantham Hospital. So, uh, I hope that we, we should be all very proud of uh, Professor Mo, as because we are classmates, we have been classmates. Uh, and then, we are really very uh, proud of his achievement. And then we honored his noble character but we lament his prolonged suffering from a debilitating and tormenting illness. And of course, we all grieve deeply for his untimely and early departure from us. So I hope you will all agree with me that he has been a very great person and we are all really very proud to be his classmates. Thank you. And also includes uh, a, a very nice essay about uh, Mark, CK Mark. And I have these hard, hard copies now. Distribute them around if you want them. Uh. Okay, as you are aware, Sick and I have been given the prestigious task of being your MC this evening. We are only happy to serve you guys. However, we only do it 
once in five years. So please bear with us if we are getting a little bit rusty and jerky. I'm sure you remember the joint declaration by Tang Xiaoping in 1984. He assured us that Hong Kong would not change for 50 years after 1997. Little did he know that in our class of 64, our friendship and fellowship have not only maintained for 50 years, but have grown even stronger. How nice. We should all toast for that. Yeah. So tonight, we should make full use of this occasion and celebrate our golden reunion to our heart's content. Trust me, it's going to be a long and enjoyable evening. So now, we'll serve dinner and we'll take a break. I regret that we are the cause of some mistakes along the line. We have missed out Dr. Stephen Su. And now we'll, 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 we'll uh, mention about him, okay? Okay, come out to the next program. We are very grateful to Pang Sing Chun for his wonderful corpus, which truly depicts our sentiment and the significance of this Golden Jubilee reunion. You can see that in the, in the uh, USB, which can be reproduced by Joseph. Um, SC also prepared a long poem titled Ode to Our Class of 64, which will take a long time to recite. <laughs> but you can see the whole text also in uh, when... Uh, are you going to give it to Joseph? A public face. Anyway, uh, SC can come out and recite a few stanzas to us. <laughs> Dr. Wai Si Chou, dear classmates and uh, spouses, uh, I've written a poem covering our 55 years of association. It has 18 stanzas of six lines each for a total of 108 lines. <laughs> As you can see, these are all lucky Chinese numbers but I don't have the time to present it complete. And so may I share with you the first two stanzas and the last two stanzas, and I hope you will like it. Do you still remember? It all began in September, in the year 1959. Anyone could see our faces shine. Reflecting a smile we so proudly wore to form the Meta class of 64. In the dissection hall, we acquainted one another. Around nameless cadavers, we grouped together, sitting on stools to take up the task. We could not help whispering to ask, which is the one with the highest score to head the metric class of 64? And then it goes on, covering our undergraduate years and our postgraduate celebrations, ending with the Ruby celebration was a great heat. The wish to meet oftener was explicit. We have been through tough times as a team. We help each other to realize a noble dream. Now that we have reached non-anniversary door, let's shout, Viva the Metal Class of 64. One's memory is limited and mine small. Many names.